to us is given the honor of striking a blow for freedom which will live in history. And in the better days that lie ahead, men will speak with pride of our doings. We lucky ones, we got off, but you'd left a lot of mates behind. And you never forget them. When you come back here, you can see their faces. And of course, they'll never be older. We still see them, you know, 18, 19, 20 year olds. Oh, I think Fantastic. it's ideal. Fantastic. Fantastic. There's the beach there. Fantastic. Gold Beach as well. Ideal spot. Couldn't wish for better. Absolutely. Yes. Good idea. Good yes. idea. Yes. We do. It's, yes. it's long overdue. We want people to feel a profound, elevated sense of emotion as they walk slowly towards the heart of the memorial, as it builds from the landscape towards architecture and an ever-increasing sense of the prominence of the sea and that relationship between the historic battle space of the D-Day landings and the memorial. I can't even visualise this as it was all those years ago. I think it's a wonderful position, marvellous. It's peaceful too. I feel that if I don't achieve this to the very best, highest standard, I, I will have let those people down. It is incredibly moving to be here today. Looking out across beaches where one of the greatest battles for freedom this world has ever known took place. We owe our freedom to our veterans. And whatever it takes, we will never surrender. And whatever it takes, we will always stand together. I'm no hero. I was lucky. I'm here. All the heroes are dead. And I'll never forget them as long as I live. We've got to be right on the bottom with preciseness. It's very important that we get the level of the face absolutely flat. It's a great privilege for me personally. It's probably a once in a lifetime job. The bit that really touches my heart, you would lift a stone and there's maybe the name of 10 soldiers on one side and the name of 10 soldiers on the other side. And I would be thinking to myself, just the wide circle of family that was affected just by the names of those 20 soldiers that would be on one of those columns. I'm 22 and I'm very privileged to work on a job this size. This job will be here for hundreds of years. They're very young. They probably didn't know exactly what they were going to do. This is it. This is what you've been raising money towards. And you've never seen this before. No, never. How does it make you feel? Because the work you're doing, it's now concrete, it's tangible, it's there, you can touch it. Marvellous. standing next to these great big pieces of stone, the depth of the walls, the permanence of this piece now. We've spent a long time on all these words and focusing on every letter and really thinking about the message that's being portrayed here. duty is to make sure that this memorial stays in wonderful condition to pass its message to future generations. Mm -hmm.